it's happening again. Welcome to another moving vlog. Oh, hello. If you're wondering why I'm a sweaty mess, we just loaded up this truck for the 800th time. Now, actually, it's only the second time. So today was Timmy's moving day. Um, so we started bright and early, but Timmy actually had removalists um, helping as well. They were actually really useless. I think I carried twice as much as the removalists, honestly. They get paid by the hour, so they work slow. Anyway, we pretty much got everything done and we also rented a small van today to get some of the stuff that Tim had in my garage um, into his house. And we kind of finished a bit earlier than expected. So I was like, Timmy, while we still have a little bit of energy, let's do one trip to my place. So I loaded up a bunch of my uh, outdoor plants, like the, everything that was in courtyards, everything that was kind of previously in the ground that I just temporarily potted up. Um, we squeezed all of this in here so we can do the first trip. Um, actually, yesterday I dropped off Oh my god, hang on. Actually, yesterday I dropped off uh, two crates full of uh, plants already, the, the little natives and so on. But I just feel like I don't want to do any empty journeys, right? If I go there because I'm picking up the keys or because I'm cleaning or I'm doing the inspection report, might as well always bring something with me. Anyway, just wanted to show you the first lot of plants is moving in. give them a water. I haven't watered them over the last couple of days because I wanted them to be a bit lighter. Uh, makes sense, right? So yeah, today was a very productive day. Exhausting, but productive. But I think we pretty much got all of Timmy's moves sorted. Like everything worked. Um, but we're really exhausted. But, you know, I just feel like getting this done today is gonna make tomorrow so much more enjoyable because you start the day already with a bit of a success story. You're like, oh, remember we already got some work done yesterday. So. Less overwhelming tomorrow. So this turf is, is fake grass, it's not real grass. Uh, just good. It's a bit dusty. Um, but I love the garden beds. Elevated garden beds, how good is that? So I'm gonna do a lot of planting here. I can promise you that. That would be amazing. And um, exactly where I'm standing, this is where the greenhouse is gonna go. How did I end up so wet? I think this thing is leaking. Yeah, this garden needs a little bit of love, but don't worry, that's exactly what I wanted to give this garden. <laughs> oh, the neighbors have a really nice bromeliad. First item of furniture is moving in. I went, not sponsored, but I went ahead and I bought this little toolkit. First time owning a power drill or any sort of power tool, really. Um, but I thought it's so worth it. And it was like this whole kit that comes with like all these adapters so I can use this with anything I want. And honestly, I reckon the time it's going to save me by not having to manually screw all of these screws in is 
definitely worth the money. You know, I always say it's all about having the right tools. If you have the right tools, things are easy when it comes to planting, but also when it comes to everything else, like building furniture. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Anyway. But the other thing is I decided to clean my house myself again uh, because I do think I left enough time to, to do that. So I'm gonna clean the house by myself, uh, which is probably gonna save me like two, three hundred dollars in cleaning costs. So I bought like the Kesha, you know, the window cleaning thing and a steam mop. Actually, like Timmy and I bought it together because we were like, well, I think we can just share it, right? We don't, like, it's not like I clean my windows every day, so. Um, but yeah, I thought it would be smarter to spend the money on tools to help me clean rather than people to clean for me because, well, then I just spend it once and I spend it on an apartment that I don't even get to live in anymore. But if I get the tool, then I also have it for this apartment and anywhere else. This is so fast. Plus between my new place, Tim's new place, my old place, we have a lot of windows. Specifically, my old place actually has a lot of really big windows and because it's ground floor, I need to clean inside and outside. I have no excuse to not clean the outside. Plus the greenhouse has glass. Plus I have two huge mirrored built-in wardrobes at the old place. Same over here. So there's a lot of like mirror surfaces that I can use this glass cleaning thingy with. I'm, I'm just really thrilled. Honestly, my whole life I just survived with this one screwdriver and I just always scream for Timmy if I need anything else. But this time around, I feel so adult. And here, sorry, this has kind of turned into an infomercial, but I'm just excited. Um, I also bought these. These are like adapters you can put in that drill and then you can use that, for example, so the, the, the coarse one for like tiles outside, for example, the medium strength one for like everything else. And then there's soft one for glass and mirror and so on as well. So like even like, you know, getting shit out of the grout and so on will be so easy. These were the reason I wanted to buy the drill. Everything else is just extra, really. But yeah, I'm excited. Alrighty, which means <sighs> room for plants. Moving house is all about basically just building surfaces to put plants on. Good enough for today. Tomorrow is a big day of moving for us, so I'll see you again tomorrow. Good morning. Oh, everything hurts already. It is day two, but on day one, we pretty much just worked on Tim Smooth. So I think you saw us move in one lot of plants yesterday. Um, that was great. And we still have the van all day today, or we need to bring it back at around five. And we went back to Tim's yesterday and started like unpacking and arranging everything and so on. So he's pretty much set up. So I think we did really well um, and it will be good. We haven't done anything with the garden yet, but there will be like a whole project that of course I'm going to uh, take you along on as well. But basically means that I'm already feeling super tired and exhausted and we're only really just getting started. But that's okay, we're trying to get done as much as we can today. I then have two days of work, Monday, Tuesday, I gotta go back to work. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I'm off again. So I suppose I have a bit of time to recover doing the work days because well, I just need to use my brain, not my legs. I have also just noticed that I kind of completely lost track of time and I'm really behind on my watering, so I'm now I mean, obviously I need to worry about all my plants moving, but if I kill them before uh, I move, then I don't need to move them anymore, right? Anyway, I don't want to kill them. I want to, I want them to be happy. So I'll definitely need to water later. Remind me before I forget. But 
that's not our main focus today. Today I'm trying to move as much things over as possible, but these are all things that I don't need on a daily basis. Right? So I still live at the old place for one more week. Um, Brad and I are gonna start living there from Saturday onwards. Today is Sunday. So I can't take everything yet right? because I still need everything. Right? I, I, you touch a lot of things over the course of a week if you consciously think about it. Also with things like the greenhouse, for example, it's a setup that I'm still really closely monitoring. So we're gonna take this closer towards my move-in date. So probably on Wednesday or Thursday, but anything that I can just move over there and I don't really need to worry about, that's going today. Right, I think I'm gonna start with these. Tim is also coming eventually and he is also bringing me a coffee because I have, I'm out of coffee and I really need a lot of coffee. <laughs> Sorry. So I think that's why I look extra tired right now. I also really need to put a head on because yesterday I got a bit burnt. And this cucumber has really bad case of powdery mildew. I don't know what to do with it. I think I might just, as much as I hate doing it, I might just have to buy a carton of milk and use that. Okay, first thing, so let's, it looks so good. Look at my mint. So I obviously want to empty out that water. It's probably a good idea anyway, it looks a bit rank. Okay, let's see. Did I just rip out all of this root system? Looks like it. Okay, it's disconnected the hose. Oh my God, guys. Look at this cucumber. Hectic. There's all sorts of animals on this though. That was dumb. Okay, I'll undo all of this cable thing. Alrighty, this is how empty this courtyard looks now. So not all too much here anymore. We also took some plants to Tim's place yesterday uh, from the greenhouse. So there's a few less plants in the greenhouse, which is good. See if I give him a few more, but I wanna assess my apartment first and see what plants fit my apartment and which ones don't. And then maybe he can have the leftovers. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's just got the van parked outside. I really hope Timmy arrives with that coffee soon. <laughs> oh, I mean, I could go again. Oh, that's what I wanted to do, exactly. Okay, so down here I've got a few things like stones. <laughs> Shit, that's gonna be so heavy. Oh, fuck. Oh, these are the lights. Okay, the lights are much more manageable. Oh, and in case you're wondering, I put bread in the bedroom. Because I have, I have all the doors open, both courtyard as well as this one. He will definitely just escape and I need to focus on moving, not watching brattles. Guys, can you see this root just hanging down there? Crazy, huh? But yeah, it looks really unhealthy. It has lots of powdery mildew and it has these animals on it. And I mean, of course we're gonna try and max out each van load, but because it's so close, it's like a kilometer away, we can just do lots of small trips so we don't need to kill ourselves physically you know, taking really big boxes and so we can just take small items. And you know what it's like, like, majority of things can be put in boxes, but you always have these random items that you can't really box up as well. So, I think that's really convenient, right? You just take it with you, put it in the car, go there, build it there, come back, right? Rather than just trying to 
rather than spending a lot of time just trying to fit everything in a box, right? I'm not moving interstate. I don't have to fit, fit everything into one van load and then so be it. Anyway, let's keep going. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah. It's still early morning. The sun hasn't even hit the courtyard and I'm already so sweaty. So I've got this portable fan because I recently worked with Yobi and they gave me all of their garden supplies. Now, oh yeah, this is good. And if it gets really, really hot, you can also put this in a bucket of water and then hit the mist but then everything is gonna get wet for now so not a good option but I will oh, I position this right here so when I walk past I get like a little cool breeze huh? gives me gives me a reason to walk past there oh yeah Uh, sorry, you guys turned off empty battery. I don't know if you can see it, you probably can't, but my Discoia Discolor is so bloody sexy at the moment. All right, I want to see if I can fit that big bird of paradise. Hello. Oh my god, you scared the shit out of me. Sorry. Hello. How are you? Good, sweaty already. Okay, first van load is full. Timmy walked up, got a coffee, I'm happy. <sighs> Let's go there, huh? Let's unpack and come back and more and more and more. Hello, my baby. Are you helping? You gonna help at all? That's a big no. No. Let's see if that fits. Alrighty, next up, I'm gonna get rid of all of these tiles down here. I don't know where they're gonna go in the new place, but I know they need to move. So let's just get started. Oh my God, some of these are really stuck. Look how fucking filthy it looks under there. Yeah. Disgusting. That's pretty good. Alrighty, second van load is full. I'm gonna keep you here because it's too much work just carrying you with me all the time while I could be carrying other stuff. And this one is just kind of not, not really exciting. So I'll see you when we're back. Alrighty, and we're back. You're in the full sun, so you're gonna be overheating any time now, but that's okay. It's not gonna be the most uh, interesting trip now anyway. So trip number three, and I just really wanna focus on a few things that are currently in the garage, like specifically this shelf and this shelf just has a lot of heavy pots and substrates and so on in it. And I would just like to get them to the new place so that when the removalists come here on Saturday, they can just take the shelving and not have to worry about the actual things that are in it. Huh? I also have a lot of boxes over here. These are all, these are all just boxes uh, that we already built for Timmy's move yesterday. So I can just reuse them really easily. Um, but all of the packing and so on, um, that will happen my, like mm, sometime next week whenever I find the time but I'm not too worried I'm pretty organized so 
It should really just be open the box, open the cupboard. Vroom. That's how I envision it. All right, let's go with this. Um, and as I said, a lot of the things that are in my cupboards, like in the kitchen cupboard and so on, I'll still need, I'll still live here for another week. So I don't want to do it premature and then end up regretting it because I can't find all of the things that I actually need to survive on a daily basis. And then I end up spending more time trying to find the things that are already packed than if I would have just packed it when I'm ready, if that makes sense. All right, anyway, I just want to move pots in here. Hi, this shelf shouldn't be too hard, right? Mm. Because maybe it would be good if we just bring that shelf with us so we can just pop shit back on there. Yeah. At the end of the garage. Yeah. Yeah, do you have your hammer? Yeah. 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 <laughs> the problem is these crates are stackable, but hardly anything that I have is actually low enough for it to then still end up stacking. So might need more trips than I expected, but it's okay. Oh, and change our strategy. We're taking one of the shelves with us because where else are we gonna put all of this? You okay? Look. Nice, both shelves empty. Alrighty, let's head back to the new place. Now, we're gonna put that shelving down into the under underground garage and it is really dark in there. There's no natural light. So I'm not gonna bother bringing you along. I'll show, you, I'll show it to you eventually when, when it's all set up. But I'll put you back inside where it's nice and cool because you're getting a bit hot, you know? And um, yeah. I don't remember what count we're up to, but I think this is van load number four. So it's more some like storage, like non-planty related stuff, but also the succulent display, like a little couch over there, another shelf, my Ataba Puenzi. And so. so a few plants here and there, but mainly just, just bulky large things like this shelf that uh, we can't take in, in a car. Uh, we're gonna have the van for one or two more days, just for the greenhouse anyway, but uh, yeah, the more the better, I reckon. And these are all things I don't really need uh, till next week, so. All right, we're doing another trip. I'm not gonna take you. It's boring. Um, see you soon. Alrighty, van load number five. Uh, good mix between some plants. I'm gonna nurse the Monstera, big mirror. Uh, my desk, because I only have two days of work left, just um, Monday, Tuesday, but I can work from the kitchen counter. A few more plants down there, some, where are the artworks? Artworks over there. So, that's the last van load for today. We need to get back, uh, we need to bring back the van. And I think we're a bit exhausted as well, but it was good, it was good. I didn't really expect us to be that far into the move already um, today. So, 10 out of 10. Good morning, it is finally time to tackle the one thing that keeps me up at night, the greenhouse. Well, it doesn't keep me up at night, but I would just wonder how long it's gonna take us to take it down and rebuild it. Uh, obviously last time when we just built it, it took us three days, um, but now we know a little more about it. And I'm also thinking we're not gonna take it down all the way to every single piece, right? We're gonna try and take segments, but that's the big unknown. We don't know yet how this is gonna work out, if this is gonna work out, and so on. So that's really our challenge today, and I'm really looking forward to having certainty or knowing at least what problems we're gonna face so I can go ahead and try and find a solution for them. Anyway. I've actually had two fairly relaxed days. I was still working Monday, Tuesday, and then after work, we just used Tim's car to bring over like a few boxes at a time, uh, maybe just a couple of trips every day. So 
I kind of unpacked all of my wardrobe and the kitchen already. So that's boring, didn't bring you along, you know. So all of these things that go from one cupboard to the other cupboard. Uh, so not very visually pleasing or interesting, um, but you know, I'm just trying to tick off as many things as I can, just slowly, just trying to get things done one by one. So um, that by Saturday, when the removalists come, Hafa hired some removalists, um, when they come on Saturday, and they bring over all the big items that we are just over and done with this. And then we can enjoy our house from Sunday onwards. Anyway, enough introduction. Let's just get started. We are picking up a big van at 2 o'clock. So we've got six hours. Um, and we're hoping by then we have this taken down. Um, and then we can take use the big van to bring over all of my moss piles all of the plants in the greenhouse as well as the greenhouse and then rebuilding it is a whole nother challenge I'll tackle at some other stage. But that's still a lot to do for just a day so we better get started. I'm just waiting for Timmy to arrive but what I can already do is take out all the plants. Look how beautiful. Let me actually give you a little look at uh, the greenhouse first. Alrighty, here it is. It's looking so good. I'm super, super happy with it. So now I just need to make sure that the plants don't suffer too much as part of the move. Now I haven't done anything too special in preparation for this. Um, I still kept watering them as they are. Um, last time, oh my god, this looks so pretty. I don't remember its name right now, but Tim from Go Vertical gave me this. Oh my god, what are we doing there? Maybe a bit of a nightmare story. I went to Tim's place uh, up in the mountains the other day. Um, so Tim from Go Vertical, different Tim, sorry, uh, getting confusing. But, uh, and we filmed a tour. Tim actually filmed the tour. Um, anyway, that's no shade on Tim, but Tim didn't plug in the microphone into the camera. It's technically my fault. I should have been uh, checking the setup. But basically, we filmed a whole tour for two hours without sound. But luckily, my mics record their own sound independently. But for some reason, I have two mics, right? Like I'm wearing one, I'm wearing one, and Tim wears the other. For some reason, one of the mics recorded everything faster. Or like, I think one mic sometimes like skips a little beat, which then obviously makes the whole recording faster. So I basically, you know, basically I have like about 30 different clips from that day of filming, and I've got eight different audio files because my mic cuts them in like 30 minute segments. So I need to now sync up all of these audio files to each other. So his mic and my mic and then sync it up to the clips, which I have done. And you would think that, oh, you just sync up the beginning, right? And then smooth sailing from here. Well, I synced up the beginning and then as a place within about 20 seconds, it started getting out of whack. So it's like echoing. So I just have to adjust it again. And then 20 seconds later, and I have to adjust it again and so on. So and it's not always every 20 seconds. So I spent about maybe four hours editing this video already and I'm about one minute and 30 seconds into the video. So, <laughs> so when I got the news that I need to move, I just uh, aborted that project. I mean, I'll pick it up again eventually and I would love to, I really, I think it was a great tour and I think you guys would really love it because it's, right up our alley, right? And he does aeroids um, and he does it better than anybody I know. So I had a great time and I can't wait to share it with you. But honestly, at this stage, given the, f it's, uh, I'm so annoyed. It's like this one, you know, it would take me 
10 seconds to double check that the mic is connected correctly but now it's probably going to take me 10 weeks to recover from that <laughs> from that mistake which is just so frustrating um, if you are quite short on time anyway so i honestly just gave up look how pretty this is getting new sleeve came out still quite green but you can see where the yellow will be right so this variegation fades in hindsight okay i think i need to stop talking and um, less talking more doing so i'll just park them in my office in the meantime these tries fill up really quickly but everything has been thriving in this greenhouse i'm so sad i have to now kind of disrupt all of these plants in here because they've just settled in they're just having a good time but you know that is life but i feel like i thrive in a challenging environment give me a challenge and i'm all here for it but um yeah this was a challenge i didn't really need at this time another one oh guys okay i need to show you a few things huh look at this it's definitely growing pitches now so the greenhouse did the trick please don't die you just started growing nicely Please don't die. I feel like this one I'll take separately because I like it so much. All right, let's also talk about bread a little bit because I haven't really spoken about bread much in this video so far. Um, look, the good thing is I know that Brett is a super, super chilled cat. He has moved a couple of times with me already by now and he has been really fine with all of the moves so far. Um, and it will be more for the better for him as well. He'll have uh, more outdoor space. He's definitely allowed in the courtyard. The courtyard is um, also facing inwards, so not uh, towards the street. So I'm less worried if he'd jump the fence. I'd obviously prefer him not to jump the fence because I don't know how, like, you know, neighbors feel about a cat maybe taking a dump in their garden because I know Brett wouldn't mind <laughs> that's Brett that's the main thing he does but yeah ultimately um, I'm really excited for him I reckon he's gonna have a good time now he's gonna move on Saturday because he's gonna sleep wherever I sleep so yeah I mean he I think he has noticed that something is going on um, but yeah, he hasn't changed too much. He's pretty cuddly at night, like he always is. But yeah, I don't think he cares so much. He's more curious. Like, you know, he's yesterday he spent all day in the courtyard. And obviously the courtyard is really empty now. And he didn't care. He just slept there. Had like one look around. We're like, mm, it looks different. But then moved on pretty quickly from there. All right, look at this. This is my global green or emerald green or one of them. And it's so nice, it's growing nice large leaves, but something is eating it and I just can't find it. For the life of me, it's been a long time. Like it must be like a caterpillar, right? They also all need a repot that was actually on the agenda. Like a little video where we do a full repot of all of them. But um, yeah, my focus has shifted. <laughs> Right, when I put, I know you can't really see this well, but when I take all of the poles, I make the grow vertical part, the plastic, face outwards, so all the leaves kind of go inwards, if they can. Obviously, eventually it kind of gets a bit too tight in there. But it should be like a bit of a security for them. Look how pretty, I'm a medium, medium silver. Really, really, really love this plant over here. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at my Dubia no pot. Growing well, huh? Honestly, guys, if there's a little bit of cosmetic damage, I'm not fast. I just don't want the whole plant to die. Okay, we are getting there. And this philodendron dropped all of its leaves during winter. So I just kept it on the pole and chopped it into bits. These two bits didn't survive. It's okay. But new shoot here, new shoot there. 
and two new sheets, sheets at the bottom. So I did somehow survive. Alrighty, and all of these hooks that I'm using to hook the plants into the greenhouse I will use to hook the plants into the van when we're moving them later. <sighs> Lastly, my Verkhoisen. Ah, it's just been so sad, but it is finally recovering, so I just ignore it for now, yeah? Alrighty, let's undo all of this. Honestly, this um, solar panel situation though, has been so good. Alrighty. And of course it rained yesterday, because we all need a little bit of rain. Which is good, at least today it's not super hot, but it's yucky. Oh yeah, I was talking about bread. I'm sorry if my thoughts are not super con uh, consistent. But yeah, it will be really interesting to see how Brett reacts to the new place. I reckon he'll love the new courtyard. I reckon he'll... Oh, shit. I reckon he'll love the stairs. Actually, neither him nor I have ever lived in a place where we had stairs inside the apartment. Obviously, stairs to get up into the apartment. But I never lived on a multi-story anything, I think. Yeah, I've never lived in a multi-story house in my whole life, have I? I lived in so many places over the years. Oh, and I wanted to address one more thing. You guys don't know about this move yet. So, I'm keeping the move pretty secret online until it's all done. You learn about, or you learned about the move as part of my uh, vlog over here. And doing that for a couple of reasons. First of all, because I honestly already have so much content filmed and edited. I'm, I'm really ahead, um, or usually like two, three weeks ahead of schedule. Um, so like the videos that you see now, they could have been filmed in September or something like that. Um, just because I have to be organized um, and when I then have I had some holidays in September Which means I just filmed a lot all like a lot and um, Yeah, I'm slowly getting on top of the edits and I just feel like The videos would be odd if I Already don't live there anymore, and I'm releasing like houseplant tours, so I'm just on top of this whole move, I'm trying to push out um, and get on top of some edits to push out some of some content that's just not gonna age well uh, if I move house, you know. Um, which is good because I, c I can still be productive, but I can be productive sitting down, so my legs get a, my legs get a little recovery. But yeah, it's weird that I'm doing all of this. But when I post something, it's like I don't acknowledge that. Or like, <laughs> I posted the garden tour the other day uh, with the tree removal and people are so excited to see what I'm gonna do <laughs> with the new space. <laughs> now that the tree is gone, well, I'm not gonna do anything. Um, but at the time of filming these videos, I didn't know, right? So I wasn't lying to you. I just uh, want to push, I'm going to push out the videos in the same chronological order than I filmed them. But it's not real time, right? Some of these videos take me a long time to edit and uh, I might not be able to get it all done in one day, right? I work on them over the course of weeks sometimes. <laughs> Alrighty, we're almost, oh my god, it's getting really slippery. And I think before we actually tackle the structure, I need a second coffee. And of course, Tim is gonna be here to help, as usual. Sorry. What I'm trying to say is I'm really excited to share the news with you. And I can't wait for until I can do that, but it's probably gonna be like a couple of weeks after the move when uh, I'm actually in a position to share. Yuck, I should really give them a spray, I reckon. 
Last one is the misting system. So it, it's just cable tied to the frame. Oh my God, it smells so mossy in here. Honestly, it feels like humidity is a, at 100% or something like that. It's so humid today. It's not hot, but it's gonna end up being shreddy. Okay, I'm gonna bring anything that we don't need into the other courtyard, just so it's not in the way. And then Timmy and I are gonna tackle the actual structure. I'm not gonna do like, we'll see. I'm probably, done, probably not gonna do a lot of commentary about it. It's probably just some time lapses and me swearing, so enjoy. Told you that electric drill would be a hit. Oh, I think we just start with the roof. Remove these. These can't come out because it's the panels there. Oh, shit. I'm drenched and it's not even a hot bloody day. Can you give me 30 seconds to just... Jesus. Got it. And every time I'm taking a piece, I'll just write on it where it came from. Like left, right, front, back, side, and so on. I reckon we just push the whole thing. Can we just try? Oh, yeah, okay. Can we try? Okay. Okay, how the f do we now get this off there? Got it? Yeah. That is awesome. <sighs> huh? How the fuck do we get it into the new courtyard? Hey, that seems like a future problem, right? I think it is, it's much lighter than I thought it would be. Which is good, right? No. 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 It's, it's not so. It's sitting on its... Guys, that actually worked. I mean, we don't have a solution how to get it in the truck, how to get it in the new place, how to build it, but anyway, that's fine. Well, that was connected to the roof and the roof yeah. is connected to this and so eventually all... Now, hang on, this is the middle piece. Oh my God, I have the feeling we might just have to take everything down. At least much better aeration by now. <laughs> Airflow is no longer a problem in this greenhouse. Oh my god, I'm so sweaty. Alright, that was good, but I've got bad news. I feel like the sides, we can't really just take them in full panels because they all share the corner pieces. We'll have a little coffee break. Alrighty, that was a well-needed break. It doesn't look that hot today, but it's disgusting. It's 22 degrees, which is fine. Humidity is at 75% though, and when the sun comes out, it gets really, really hot and muggy. I keep finding screws on the floor, which doesn't make me really confident. Ah! I'm worried. Timmy! Right, much smarter to keep the end bits on the front yeah. and two end bits on the side so yeah. we can slide them out and then we just have two yeah. side pieces. Yeah. So I need to undo a lot of the work that I've just done. Okay, at least we're learning. Yeah. Hang on, oh, I need to put this back in. Ah, put this back in, I need to put this back in. Ah, put this back in. Okay, don't work, ignore me. Ah, success! Yeah. Mm, nice. Oh my god, guys, this weighs nothing. That's really good news. Side or? Oh, oh no, there you go. Stuck. Okay, hang on. Let me fit in the screw. Fuck. Seriously, guys, this is insane. Like, 
We are like builders. We're professionals. Ah, we even have all the screws in the world here. It's actually pretty light. It's very light, right? It's yeah. just the front panel. You go. Lift it. Guys, can you believe it? Sick. Sick, sick, sick. Alrighty, that was enough green housing. Uh, as you can see, we just picked up a van and we're giving ourselves a little break from the greenhouse and we're gonna focus on the big moss poles because the big moss poles can only be transported in the big van. Um, I reckon some of my moss poles have grown a little too large for this van as well as uh, my new place. So I feel like some plants might have their uh, top growth damaged a little bit, but it is what it is. Anyway, let's start bringing in some plants and pots. So I've got hooks, like these. I'll just hook it into the moss pole and then I'll hook it into the grid of the van. And see if I have enough to fix each moss pole with two, that would be my preference. But we'll see how we go. Oh my God, look how pretty this one is. Big plant incoming. Uh, this one's definitely gonna be too tall. That new growth. Rest in peace. I reckon. Come on. Alrighty, we're getting onto the velvet phyllos. Look at the new leaf. Oh, please don't die. I feel very relaxed about this part of the move actually, because I feel like I've done this before and I know it works. Last time I had more damage after the move than during the move. Literally after the move, when I was just moving them around inside the apartment to decorate and so on, that's when they came crashing down on me because I wasn't diligent. But doing the move, I'm pretty careful. Super dry, huh? Mm -hmm. Last one. All right, just ignore how incredibly sweaty I am. But we made it. If the camera would ever adjust. Hello. Can you adjust? There you go. All of the plants are here. Let me, I think, if I get out of frame, the camera probably adjusts a little better. Here we go, so all of the big poles are in here. Definitely some will struggle with height. But I basically hooked them into the grid over here 
And then on the side, I also hook them in there so they can't really twist and they can't fall over. Like this one is a good example. See how it just doesn't twist around and it's hanging here. So that worked a treat last time around. Wow, look at this plant. So let's hope it works again. Alrighty, all the big poles have moved in. So the thing is, I didn't bring any of their pots because I didn't want the pots to kind of like swing around in the van. So they all just kind of leaned against a corner. There's one here. There's some clipped into the staircase over here. One in this corner. Some over here. Actually, it looks nice with the lower ceilings because the plants look bigger. Some hooked out here. Oh my god, it's a mess. A uh, big one hooked over there as well. Because I just didn't know where else to put it. Actually, I don't like it there. I'd rather move it inside. It always leave inside. I don't know how many bloody insects are going to be out here. So Now, what I did do in preparation for this, I didn't water the plants so that they are a bit lighter to uh, carry which means they're all a little dehydrated. Now I put some uh, CCS, it's also from, uh, G, uh, from Growth Technology. I don't use CCS all too often, but I usually, or I used to use it when I had more propagations. It's great to encourage root growth. And it supposedly also has a lot of uh, vitamin E in it, E vitamins, stuff like that. Um, which helps plants with uh, dealing with shock. So, not shock, stress. So, uh, yeah, supposedly gonna help my plants uh, recover from the stress of being moved. Last one. All right. They're all drinking. We're gonna go back and get the greenhouse. Alrighty, that was pretty good. So first van load done. We're back with an empty van and now we're gonna put all the heavy stuff, the greenhouse stuff and so on because all the plants have been taken care of. Oh, well, not all plants, but all the big ones. All right, let's go, huh? Let's go. I have a spare one here. Go down the end. Okay. Well, do you wanna take this piece out? Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it? Oh, that's good to me. This is going to be much really easier. I said yes. Yeah. Probably easier to maneuver. Oh, there's one more there, but forgot about that. Do you want to lift it? Are you receiving it? Yeah. Yeah.
my god, I can't believe it. All the pieces made it into the courtyard. Now Timmy's gonna try find a park and then we're gonna attempt to assemble it. We've got the base down. This is where we have decided it's gonna go. But pretty happy with it. I think it will be good. It won't be all too sunny, but it also won't be too shady. So I think it will be a good mix between the two. And I have to admit something. I have been bitching and moaning about people using leaf blowers my whole life. And here I am buying one myself. That was probably not a good idea. But this bloody tree, what is it, Maria? Has so many, I mean, it's beautiful, it smells great. But it has so many leaves and so many flowers and this is just gonna be a forever issue. So I figured the earlier I get one, the more use I can get out of it. And then this way I can also use this one to clean my old courtyard out. So I went and bought it today at Bonnings. Hee hee, of course. Still messy, but much better than before. Alrighty. Good morning. We are back. Sorry, yesterday kind of ended a bit abrupt, abruptly. My camera ran out of storage, my phone ran out of storage, and we, we ran out of uh, patience and energy. It was a really exhausting day, but this is what we got up to. So we've got the four panels back down. So today we just need to do the roof. Uh, nice and early. Um, but Tim can only help me for the first part of the day um, and then the second part of the day AJ is coming to help whoop, whoop. Miss AJ I haven't seen her in a long time anyway you probably also hear some construction noise pleased to announce that three houses down they're demoing the house and rebuilding so that's probably gonna be an ongoing pleasure for everybody but I suppose it is what it is. Where do I start? I'm so tired. <laughs> but I'm really motivated to get this done. Oh, bloody hell, the sun has so much bite again. It's supposed to be overcast. And it's super, super humid again as well. Um, sorry, I'm really lost. What am I trying to achieve here? Is the silver thing matching? No. 
Oh shit! What? Sorry, we didn't get this right. We need to lift it by these black bits in the middle. Yeah. Yep. And fucking pray for the best. This is actually working. Stop, 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 stop. Yes. Yes. Alrighty, my friends. Sorry, you guys kept overheating and I just wanted to keep going, but everything is back in place. <sighs> Except for the doors. That's what I need to work on. Alrighty, next thing I'm gonna do is I'll put the misting system back and I wanna clean everything before I put anything else in there. But basically, the misting system is just a hose with these little nozzles on it. And then I'll connect that to like a smart plug so I can set a timer. And I've got the misting system itself from Sprout Brow. And the timer is from a company called Holman. While Timmy is working on that, I want to show you this machine. La Machina. Okay, so the way that it works is you spray. Then you wipey wipey. La 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 la. Now you vacuum it clean. And keep in mind, I've only done one side, right? So to get the real effect, I need to do both sides. Can you see how dirty the water is? Yeah. All right, I think that's good enough for now. Look at this. Disgusting. Oh my god, I'm so tired. <sighs> I think I'm done. Or almost done, I think for now. What a day. It is quarter to three. AJ's gonna come around four ish. So just got over an hour. But I think I wanna get some lunch, get a coffee. My back hurts, I don't know what I've done. It started just halfway, halfway through today. Anyway, I think I'm going to give you, I'm going to show you where things are at the moment. Now keep in mind, I just put things where they look good right now and based on the sun exposure right now. But I need to see how the sun moves throughout the day, throughout the months and so on. I need to understand how we're actually going to utilize this space. For now, I've got a lot of space in the middle of the courtyard because I feel like we'll be able to always use I mean, I'm still waiting for the bench. Um, there's going to be, the, the bench is probably going to be here and then the chairs are going to be here. So the chairs will eat into that space a little bit. But I thought, you know, it makes sense to have a little bit more space there. Um, so that we can do yoga in the morning, Hafa loves to do yoga and all we need is like a even surface for that, right? Now, it doesn't really make sense where the umbrella is now. It's kind of like, it would make more sense for the umbrella to be over the seating area, right? So it might need to move there, but not today. As I said, I reckon it will go through many, many iterations, but I'm pretty happy with it for today. 
Alrighty, so this is where you walk in. This area gets the moist sun. So I've got all of my succulents and cacti behind the barbecue. My canna lilies who also absolutely love the sun. The mother film who also loves the sun. Then we've got the greenhouse. Looking good. I still need to set up the automation, like the automated fan, the automated whatnot. Um, misting and so on. Some haloconias in there and I also popped some plants in the garden bits already. Still in their pots but in anticipation of what's about to happen. Then we've got the seating area framed by some haloconias as well as this beautiful palm over there. Loving this palm. This one there looks nice. And we walk around there. We've got another palm, my sprout pot set up, so my cucumbers and my mint and everything. It's thriving over there. Had powdery mildew, but seems to be recovering really quickly. And then over here, we've got the pole of, not the wall of poles. And my mandula pothos has now moved out as well. And we're back. So that's good enough for now, honestly. I have somewhere to sit. Oh my God, I really need to take off my shoes, but I really need to go get lunch. All the plants are happy. Everything has been watered. Um, yeah, I mean, I need to fine tune things. I need to definitely put up the lights as well and so on, but maybe I'll do that. I think AJ is going to come here around four. So I think I'm going to go grab lunch, a coffee. I'll come back and then maybe I'll work on the lights. So we've got that done. But all the plants, almost all the plants. There's a few more plants at home. That's why AJ is coming. She's going to help me move those and the IKEA cabinet, but not that many plants left. And then we're over and done with that one. And then on Saturday, we're gonna move furniture. It's odd, huh? When normal people move, they do everything else first and then the garden second. I literally have a garden set up like I lived here for a decade already and no furniture inside. But, you know, priorities.